I, I think we're underestimating what's going on right here in, in the homeland. We talked about that, that terror. Well, let's, they don't want to call it a terror cell, but three, three jihadis come from the same town in, in Minnesota. Two of them went to high school Absolutely. together. We have Major Nadal Hassan. You have uh, the Sarnia brothers. They're coming from here. They're coming from within, and they're killing us. This, this, I, I think he should be charged with treason. Better yet, send him to Gitmo and waterboard the hell out of him until he starts talking about what, what he knows. Waterboard the rest. We had a way of dealing with terrorists for a while. We decided that wasn't going to be nice enough to, to, to terrorists, so we stopped doing it. And look what happens. It's starting to sprout up again. We have dead Americans. We have beheaded Americans. So the thing that created more terrorists, do that again. Do that again. Did you know that uh, the ISIS fighters, as they beheaded the journalists, they said the reason why we have them in orange jumpsuits is because that's the color of the jumpsuits that the Muslims were wearing in Guantanamo Bay. So we're getting you back for what you did at Guantanamo Bay. And what is genius Eric Bowling's response? Do the thing that we did at Guantanamo Bay and at Abu Ghraib and at all these other areas where we tortured, violated international law and the Geneva Conventions and our own constitution, the Eighth Amendment protection from cruel and unusual punishment. You know, that's the thing. A guy like Eric Bowling, how often does he go out there? He carries around a pocket constitution. And I've seen him take it out on air and say, I'm a constitution guy. Really? Did you read the Eighth Amendment? Do you understand that that's a wild violation of our constitution and international law? But they just mean, they, they mean it as a prop. I mean, they only believe in the constitution when it's fucking convenient to their belief system. And that's the thing, this guy is such an idiot, he didn't learn anything about what happened at Guantanamo Bay, and he didn't learn that this actually created a bigger problem than it solved. Uh, did you know that the Bush administration, so Bush and Cheney, after 9-11, they, naturally they wanted to get revenge for what happened, so they spoke to the Pakistani government and they made a deal with them, and they said, hey, do us a favor, we're opening up this Guantanamo Bay thing, what we want you to do is send us anybody who you think is affiliated with terrorism and Al-Qaeda, and we're going to put them in Guantanamo. So what did the Pakistani government do? Well, I don't know why anybody would ever trust the Pakistani government, because they proceeded to round up anti-Pakistani government protesters and ship them off to Guantanamo and dumbass Bush and Cheney thought, well, I guess they're Al-Qaeda because that's what the Pakistani government told us, so yeah, let's just lock them up. Which is why you kept hearing figures in the media coming out of Guantanamo which said over 80 of the people that are there are totally innocent. They didn't do anything wrong. But what does jackass Eric Bowling say? Waterboard. Waterboard, because they don't believe in a trial. They don't want to give these guys a trial to actually determine whether or not these people are innocent or guilty. Just waterboard from the jump, from the beginning. You idiot, this is why we have a process in place. is because we're not sure whether or not we get it right or wrong every time, and we got it overwhelmingly wrong with Guantanamo. And also, did you know we executed Japanese soldiers after World War II when we found out they waterboarded our guys? But what does Bowling want to do? Don't care, fucking waterboard anyway. Look, man, there were plenty of studies that came out that came up with the term the Iraq effect. You know what that means? Because we killed so many innocent civilians in Iraq and Afghanistan and with the war on terror. Because we, we uh, at Guantanamo Bay and Abu Ghraib, we waterboarded people and tortured people. Because we acted in such a savage way and responded guns blazing, we created more terrorists. Uh, you had recruitment for Al-Qaeda shot through the roof, recruitment for the Taliban shot through the roof. You had the creation of groups like Al-Shabaab and Ansar al-Sharia and Boko Haram and the rest of them. Your idea, Eric Bowling, is to fight brutal uh, savagery with our own version of brutal savagery. No, there's a smarter way to go about this. You don't drop your value system and your belief in the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Magna Carta, and these principles because you feel like it's inconvenient at a certain point in time. The whole idea of having these things in place is that they're not debatable. They're concrete. They're written in stone. They're rights. You know, it really is disheartening when you find out that uh, our radicals here in the U.S., given the opportunity, at the drop of a pin, they can become just as radical as the people who we hate.